Parents and students at City Honors in Buffalo are strongly reacting tonight to a story you saw first on four. A complaint now being investigated by the U.S. Department of Education is challenging Buffalo schools that only accept the best and the brightest. News 4 senior correspondent Rich Newberg has the very latest. I would send my kid to private school. Parents of City Honors students strongly object to a move that could threaten Buffalo schools that only accept students who test extremely high in academics and character. They believe their children deserve to be where they are. He worked very hard to be able to get into this school. It didn't come easy for him, um, and he deserves it. So I would be really upset if it was taken away. A federal complaint contends the entrance requirements for city honors and other criteria-based schools are discriminatory against minorities. Every parent in Buffalo knows that if you don't get your child into a, a, a few schools, that basically your child is you know, doomed to go to one of the other schools. And so those parents are trying to change that. The complaint to the U.S. Department of Education was made by Patricia Elliott Patton, whose family lives only blocks away from the Olmstead School. But her daughter Jennifer could not get in and now is bused to a school far away from home. That's in South Buffalo. Majority of the kids that go to that school are white children. Some encouraging the complaint say high caliber students from the elite schools should be mixed in with lower performing students as a positive influence. But that doesn't go over well with city honor students we talk with. If you bring in a, a really high standing kid to a low performing school, it could rub off on him and he could start doing worse than he was before. It'll be more of a pull towards the higher kids to be to lower down their standards. It would be terrible. I mean, this this is a good school. If they close it or, or, or change it, just it's going to ruin it. Rich Newberg, News 4 at 6.